We are here today with Evan Dobis. He is the owner of Civic Lift, the winner of our pre-launch entrepreneurship award in 2014. Evan, can you walk us through your product and show us how it works? Sure, so this is a, a site we built for Torrington. And as I said, I think during the presentation, we actually were awarded this project before we even considered launching uh, the startup. Um, it was throughout the process of conceptualizing this website where we started thinking, and if we do this right, maybe we can repeat this process for another community. So the website we came out with um, is, it comprises of basically five modules. So the first and by far the most popular aspect of the website is the events calendar. And there's not one event that is submitted by us, uh, by our studio. It's all, it's all submitted by people in the community. So business owners take advantage of it a lot. <clears throat> um, e even residents. So it aggregates all of the events that have been submitted, puts it all into a, a, a common format and so people know how to digest it, gives uh, all the, the photos and the event details, uh, the location, it all gets put onto, the, onto this one web page and um, it's very shareable through social media, add it to your calendar. So all the info is right there. That was the events calendar. Community Projects is a miniature Kickstarter. It's a crowdfunding platform for the community. So again, we don't think of the ideas, but the community will actually submit an idea through another online form. And um, there's two that are live right now. We have a children's museum in town, and they're trying to work on a new exhibit. Everybody loves this children's museum, but the exhibit is pretty expensive to pull off. So they're raising money through, through this site. People actually pledge money through this site. City Explorer is basically an interactive place of interest directory slash business directory. And again, all these listings are, are um, submitted from people. So there's a restaurant up the street backstage. So they took it upon themselves to, again, fill out an online form. You can see where they are, and they've uploaded pictures so you can get a good gist of what the restaurant is all about, their own description, and contact info. And uh, photos and videos is showing events, uh, photos and videos from events that already took place. So right below our feet is Five Points Gallery. It's turned into this amazing, well-recognized gallery that has amazing quality of work. And so we went, uh, people have taken pictures and they submitted it to our site and we would feature it on the site. And now whenever Five Points has a, another opening, they will reference this gallery within their event posting. So this part ties in really closely with the events calendar module. And um, you know, th I think the goal here was to make people feel like they were missing out on the event, you know? <laughs> because that's the best way to get somebody to go. Like, oh my gosh, this is what the event was like last time. You know, now I know how to dress. Now I know what to expect. And so there's just more comfort to go. And the last module is we call it latest and greatest. It's essentially a, a blog with numerous contributors we've identified throughout town. So we actually have somebody from City Hall who talks about economic development, things that have, made, that, that have come to fruition. Um, we have somebody in town who's a leasing agent, and he talks about who's moving in and who's moving out. We even have a movie critic and just some um, content developers that, uh, that talk about news and or events that have happened in so all together, these modules really work hand in hand. Um, the events calendar with a, with, a, with a map, you can see you know, wh where these events actually are. Um, you can see who's gone to them before. And then you can see what it was like through the plug. So all together, it's a pretty comprehensive platform that, um, that gives a, a, a person a good sense of what the community is actually like. That's great. So thanks for showing us your product, Evan. It's awesome. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what you think uh, will happen over the next six months to a year with this, with this venture? Actually, six months is, is the threshold. We're trying to take our prototype and turn it into a market-ready product. And what I mean by that is basically hiring a software development company to look at our wish list that we've developed over the past year of running this site mm -hmm. and making it so that we can, A, roll it out quick for a new community um, to keep the efficiency there and B, to make it so every community that gets this has a way to manage it themselves. Because I have to assume that 
a lot of the success from Torrington site had to do with the fact that we're right here mm -hmm. in Torrington. And we know what's going on, we're kind of already tapped in. So we can't assume that we're going to be that way for any other community. So we have to find somebody there or somebody who can manage maybe a few communities, work out some type of partnership with them. I don't really know the capacity of yet, but um, the administrative panel, the back end for them to, to curate the site is a, is a big piece of it. So that's what all the, the funding, the, all the money that I'm, I'm raising now is going, is saving up for the software development. It's pretty, pretty big. Uh, pretty big nut to crack. So. Well, and I know you know that you won a thousand dollars at our event. Um, so how else? You know, hopefully that helps towards your fundraising goal. But how Maybe. else do you think this award is is going to help you on this journey to to start Civic Lift? Well, since that presentation, that five minute presentation, apparently there was two people in the audience or somebody in the audience who told. But there, I've been contacted by two different communities already, wow. saying they're interested in what I'm doing. That was only a couple weeks ago. Yes. Wow. It, it was only about a four days, both of them contacted me within about four days of that presentation. So, it, awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was, re it, was really, it was really profound so, um, and encouraging. So I, um, it, it's hard to say, hold on, we're not really there yet, but mm -hmm. man, does it light a fire in, in my belly to, to get that software development company going and to make this really happen because... You know there's demand for your product. There's demand for the product and there's a purpose for it. So I proved that through Torrington site, and the demand and seeing how people are reacting to it is very encouraging. That's really exciting. Yeah. Well, I hope you don't mind. We'll probably check back in with you a few months down the road to see how things are going. Uh, I'd love that. And congratulations again, and, and thanks for, uh, for nominating yourself, because this has been really <laughs> fun for us to see what you've been up to. My pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>